today we have the oral exam for the computer graphics course. For those who are not part of the class, uh, you're going to see teams are going to be presenting their work uh, on their final project. So without further ado, the stage is yours. And uh, it's uh, a Ruby Q. Um, yeah. Um, about the specifications, I think I, I did some. Uh, I, I tried, I did some uh, lighting, but it's not very obvious. Um, yeah, it's even not. Yeah, and uh, I also do the um, camera rotation with the mouse. Um, some people might think uh, uh, to recover a, a Ruby Cube is that uh, need very super smart, but unfortunately that's not true. Uh, you, uh, to recover a Ruby Cube, you just need to uh, remember, memorize some pattern, and uh, and then when you never see that pattern, you do some some step, and you, it can be recovered. Um, so I also did the, uh, this is the, the shuffle, it's not, looks, it doesn't look very natural. Uh, um, yes, I'm here. I'm just trying to um, recover one side, one one layer for you. This is basically the, the first step. You have to uh, recover the first uh, cross in the in one side, and uh, all all the other side are match their center block. Yellow, yellow here, and green, green here. familiar with the uh, uh, UI actually. <laughs> well don't worry, you don't expect it to know how to solve the Rubik's Cube for right? <laughs> 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 I just wanted to show it, this this thing is actually working. Is actually uh, remember let the, 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 the computer remember where is actually this cube. There is 27 uh, cube because it's three by three by three. But the center one, the in the middle one, it, it doesn't move. So there are uh, 26 uh, blocks left. So you have to remember 
whenever you, you rotate, it go to a, another position, and when you want to rotate, uh, um, for example, if you if I press, press Q, actually you, you rotate the front side, but uh, when you when you do something like this, when you rotate the top side, and then you press Q, it still rotates the front side, but but uh, it's a different Q. I move to a, a different location. You have to remember where is the where where is the Q is actually is. I I use just a simplified uh, coordinates because there are, uh, for example, th this cube initially is uh, actually I think um, minus one one one, and this cube is one one one. It's just mapped to our uh, common coordinates. So every time, or every, every time you press button, you, you rotate it, uh, the position will change. And then next time you, you, you do another rotation, uh, it will figure out which cubes, actually, which nine cubes uh, are in the right position to rotate. Um, yeah, and another thing is about the um, matrix multiplication, because it's not commu commutative, so, um, only remember the angle is not enough. If you have to remember all your previous step, step. So, uh, if you really uh, uh, do do like this, I think uh, at, at some time it will overflow because remember all the the history of it. Um, yeah, and uh, another one is like the animation here. Uh, uh, it's something different. It's not like uh, m maybe uh, this one is when you when you do this kind of animation is uh, is uh, looks harder. But actually, I find uh, it's harder to implement this kind of uh, anima animation. You press a button, it rotates 90 degree, and and then it stops. Uh, it took me uh, a while to figure out how to uh, stop the animation. And uh, the UI is just uh, six key with or without uh, shift key to do a uh, clockwise rotation or uh, counterclockwise rotation. Yeah, and uh, zero, zero is shuffle. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you don't know how to solve it, just press F5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when you seven. press F5, what happens? Does it reset? <coughs> Uh, refresh the stage. Refresh. Refresh. Are you really? Ah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, so did good. you learn uh, how to solve the, the first phase uh, for the course, or uh, was it something that uh, you made yeah, anyways? I, I used to play uh, this, this cube, but I haven't brained my cube here. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, how did you implement the different colors on the cubes? Oh, uh, actually, it, I, I, I did, actually, I did a little bit cheating here. Uh, you can see the, the, the little um, gap here. Yeah. Actually, this is uh, 27 Q with uh, uh, with top white, front right, uh, right right is blue, it's like this, and then you just uh, um, yeah put them together and with a small um, gap there. So did you use the draw cube function, the, for example, that we had in the you you're drawing. Uh, every side uh, on a constant color, and then you're rotating everything and we see this effect? Or do you have different uh, cubes for each side? Uh, these are all actually um, ch uh, children of one cube, actually, if you do the um, hierarchic model. Okay. Yeah, so they, they, they all have the same, um, I guess, parameter. <coughs> How much work would it be to have an automatic recovery system in there? <laughs> I I don't know because I still have the problem with here. If you, you, you press the button, it's it's doing actually too fast. Actually, it doesn't look very na natural, but uh, uh, it, it should and it, it does rotate one after another. But the, the processor is too, too fast, so you press the zero. Actually, there is 15 for iteration, but you can't see it. Um, 
even you can see the screen count, the response time of the screen is now fast enough to, to show the rotation. So if I implement the auto, auto recover, it's just something like this and then recover like that. So if I can't figure out how is that working, that's just like this. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, any questions? Yeah. For the shuffle, how did you do that? Is it just a random amount of rotations or? Uh, yes, actually I randomly generate um, Uh, I ran damage two, uh, two variable. Why uh, uh, they are all zero or one? The value of them are zero or one. So uh, zero is like uh, one is like zero. You you rotate clockwise and and uh, one you rotate counterclockwise. And another one is to show. Oh, actually there are three random variable. Um, and the, the, the third one is, can have value um, zero, one, or two. That's the dimension of uh, the, the Q is, namely x, y, z. So you have a, a round, round number uh, indicates which uh, axis rotate. You have a round number indicates which um, direction it rotate. And you have a round number uh, to indicate is this side or the back side. So. There are three random number, and then uh, you do 15 or whatever, whatever number of iteration you, you have something like this. Okay. Any more questions? Okay, thank you very much.